Good evening everybody, welcome back and tonight we're going to be doing a bit more scotch and rye. Um, I was going to do the next still game but the next still game episode incidentally is scones and that sounded familiar. I was like hold on a minute, pretty sure I put that on the Patreon back way back when and I did. So what I'm going to do with that, I'm just going to you know like screen record it, mute the microphone and then just stick it on YouTube and then it'll be there. Um, so I thought what else shall I do? Oh, scotch and rye. So that's what we're going to do tonight. But also, one more thing, just to let everybody know, this is important, especially, well, you'll see. The uh, Patreon prize draw that I've been planning for however long is now officially underway. So you can see here, I've put the post up letting people know it's time to pick the numbers. 1 to 100 are the numbers. There's uh, the... Um, Terms and conditions, you know, the rules, if you're in tiers, if you're in these tiers, pick two numbers. If you join since I announced it, you pick two numbers, blah, 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 blah. T's and C's. And also, this. When it loads, is which numbers are left. So every time a number gets picked on there, I'll just, you know, cross it out, delete it. And these are the numbers that everyone's picked so full disclosure with you guys there you go so yeah this uh, competition is officially underway and I'm really excited for it so once everybody has picked their numbers we can get on with it so yeah if you want to if you want to be in with a chance of winning then join the patreon remember if you join between now and when we actually do the prize draw you get to pick two numbers Something that only people in the most expensive tiers get to do. So that's, yeah, seriously, consider it. And you can join from like 80 pence a month. It's really cheap. I'm not sure what the prize will be, but what I can tell you is definitely going to be at least £10. And then um, I'll probably just add a couple of quid every day until we do it. So it'll probably end up being about 10, 15 quid. Yeah. So it's not much, it's not a life changing sum of money, I know. But the thing is, it is gonna. I'm going to try and make sure that it's once a month or maybe twice a month. So, yeah. Anyway, that's that. Let's go, Scotch and Ray. Love this show. <laughs> wow. She can snore, can't she? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Ripple sound! <laughs> oh, 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 what's happening? Here, drink that, Pip. Oh. Mm. What was that? I swallowed. Two aspirins, Pip. But I haven't got aspirins. a headache. How were you, beautiful? <laughs> <laughs> What's the flashing? <laughs> okay, Stella, out the car. Who <laughs> the car, Bala said, quick. Don't talk, pal. Don't say a word. I mean, you're in enough trouble as it is, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, mean I can't, I can't. I can't. Nick. Sorry, guys, because it's an old show, and obviously it's uploaded by some... I think this is a DVD rip. It's not the best quality. I can't tell who it is. Sorry. <laughs> the number of bio But don't comment, you know, don't put it in the, in, in the premiere chat or comment and, until the sketch ends, and I definitely know that I couldn't tell who it was. Listen, road Let's traffic wait, regulations find out. that you violated, so just keep your mouth shut. Hey, listen, now you, you listen! <laughs> so this is the police you're dealing with! <laughs> this is the police, it doesn't say kiss me quick up there! <laughs> Why such big applause for that joke? I'm guessing that's got something to do with the uh, special guest. Right, your name. 
Tiger. <laughs> Tiger. Tiger. Right, I don't recognise the person, but I'm guessing he played Tiger or was playing Tiger at this point. Yeah. <laughs> first name. Chief Inspector. Chief Inspector, <laughs> first name. <laughs> so he played Tagger. He must have done. He must have done. <laughs> Inspector? You mean like on the buses? <laughs> no, you dunderhead. No on the buses. I'm a police officer. <laughs> I'm trying to find out who it is, guys, but I'm having a bit of trouble. Um. Let's have a look on IMDb. Might, there might be uh, some idea there. Oh, IMDb's a bag of shit, isn't it? I mean, honestly, it, it just is. It really is. Like... How are you? Forget it. <laughs> no on the buses. I'm a police officer. Oh. Oh, eh. <laughs> oh, eh. I'm a police officer. Oh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that... I'm going to have to rely on you guys. It's the best yet. <laughs> oh, God, I'll hear them all. I'll hear them all. Oh, please, please, officer, I'm a mason. <laughs> I'm a mason. Oh, please, officer, I'm pregnant. A police officer, I'm a pregnant mason. <laughs> but I'm bullish, man. I'm bullish. Are we running like you? <laughs> oh, yeah, don't make me laugh. I will say this. He does look familiar, but I don't know who it is. <laughs> 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 Maybe I could let you off with a warning now. <laughs> really? Maybe I could let you off with a suspension and a broken nose. Hey, watch. I'll have you for damaging police property. The car isn't even scratched. Stuff your car. You've broken my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, how was I to know? I mean, you don't look like a policeman. You look more like a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> I'm in plain clothes. Well, well you stick in, son, and maybe one day you'll get a nice uniform like mine. <laughs> you stick in, son, and you'll get... What? <laughs> really? You're a beat cop or a traffic cop. In fact, you basically, from what we've seen, is a glorified traffic, traffic warden, isn't it? This guy's already on plain clothes duties, so he outranks you by a factor of ten, mate. You stick with it and you'll... Really? You, you're giving him career advice? <laughs> you're bottling you. I'm on a crime. That's, That's like Sadiq Khan advising anybody in, like, high office government in any country because... Yeah. This is a stakeout. A stakeout? It's a hell of a place for a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, listen, there's enough of nice wee picnic spot. A stakeout, you idiot. Yeah, I'm watching that building over there. <coughs> I got a tip off this morning about a suspect. I'll give you his description. Over six feet tall, below average intelligence, with a permanent delicate look on his face. <laughs> hey, this couldn't be you, could it? <laughs> That's what I thought in my head. It's going to either turn out to be him that he's looking for, or he's going to, yeah. <laughs> No, I'm no six feet. <laughs> Forget the other two. I'm not six feet. <laughs> Just a minute. If, uh, if he's in there, why are you out here? I'm waiting for backup. Oh, well, your waiting's over, pal, because you've got my backup. <laughs> Listen, you're right. We can't wait any longer. We'll go in there and arrest him. You and me. Ah, come on. <laughs> you and me? You and me? But you mean as, as in together? <laughs> I.e. us? Yes. Ah, have you got a problem? Ah, just the one. Have you got another pencil I could borrow? <laughs> Never mind your bloody pencil. What? This man is dangerous. 
We call him the South Side Slasher. Oh. <laughs> Is that the rain coming on? <laughs> I asked for the news, not the weather, pal. <laughs> you trying to wind me up? I didn't even know you were clockwork. <laughs> Are you trying to wind me you up? you get to be a police... I didn't even know you were clockwork. <laughs> and by writing to Jim will fix that. <laughs> Listen, I can't laugh we've got that. to stop this man. He has already... Fucking animal. Slaughter dozens of innocent people. Ah! Slaughter? Ah. You mean slaughter them dead? <laughs> ah, well, no, slaughter... no, 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 no. He just slaughtered them a wee bit, but they're still alive. It's no just in my jurisdiction, you see. I mean, have if, if, if you done some serious, like going through a red light, by God, I'm not. <laughs> I mean, slot them, just well, slot them. You wee fanny. It's just no my style, you know what I mean? So I'll be able to... <laughs> come here, right. you. We've got to do our duty. We can't let him get away with murder. Oh, no, Sidney Devine's been doing it for years. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a few jokes, like how funny they're supposed to be because there's references to who this guy is. But still, they're still funny. It makes sense. He's got a knife. A knife? Aye. Uh, <laughs> by God, I'm your man then. Just you stay here. I'll go in myself. I'll hunt him down. I'll corner him and I'll, I'll face him and his knife. You'll ask him to give himself up? No, I'll ask him to sharpen my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> That one's always funny with that police officer. A second class returned to dotty town, please. <laughs> huh? A second class returned to dotty town, please. Now you want tunes, sir. Tunes. Now get them across the kiosk there. <laughs> also, that's wrong. When you've got a cold, you want halls. The black ones, you know, the little square sweets, they'll clear you out. Tunes, nah, they don't work for me. Or oh, soothers, soothers are alright if you get the honey and lemon ones. They're alright. A second class return to Nottingham, please. Ah, oh, you're too late now, the last train left two minutes ago. <laughs> he was in the last one. Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to the Bane Eagles Hotel. <laughs> You'll be wanting a room, I take it. Uh, that's right, for two nights, if you'd be so kind. Hey, yeah, wait a minute. Are you English? Mm, that's correct. Well, in that case, you can't have a room. Sorry. What? You heard me. Well, why can't I have a room? Because you're foreign. <laughs> I'm not foreign. Foreign? I'm English. You are foreign to me, you smelly, scummy, sassanaki. <laughs> You're no getting a room, so push off. No, look here. My money is as good as anyone else's, and there is no wow. earthly reason why you should refuse me. That is perfectly true, but you're forgetting one thing. What's that? Culloden. <laughs> You say Bannockburn, I say Culloden, because it's not the heaps that count, is it, mate? It's the final. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Scotland the Grieve. Hurdy, gurdy, gurdy. In the windy boxes. All flow to Scotland. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was centuries ago. Uh, maybe so, but I've just heard a butcher. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 look. Surely we're both being very childish. I mean, surely we're all... You reckon? We're all British, aren't we? Don't you patronise me. <laughs> that is the wrong thing to say to any Scotsman. <laughs> Come on, we're all British, aren't we? No. <laughs> no, they don't like that. <laughs> I know every time I ask this, because it comes up a lot in the shows that we're doing, you know, Scottish hatred of the English, 
And whenever I ask, you always say, no, no, that, that's not what we really think of you. We love you guys, but come on. It is, isn't it? You hate us. <laughs> you hate us. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> not from you guys, but, you know, like the general feeling of the population, the Scottish population. I know you don't like us, and I don't know why. Because you are basically, we're, we're all, you know, we... I don't understand. I mean, I do know why. Obviously, Cologne, yeah. But, come on. World War Two. Hmm? We forgot our differences and came together. <laughs> We're all mates. Both love a cup of tea. Both love a drink. Hmm? Both love a game of football. Our players are better. Your managers are better. Come on. Get Ollie, over it. We're all, we're all British, aren't we? Look at me and you. You patronise me, you Anglo-Saxon idiot, you. <laughs> but I'm not one of your team jokes you're talking to, you know. Don't think that. I'm I'm a fighting Scot in the tradition of Bonnie Prince Charlie, Rob Roy McGregor, Hugh McCorkindale. Oh, there was a man. Right across the world to Argentina. And he did Scotland proud. What did he do? I'm not sure. His case hasn't come up yet. <laughs> Listen to me. You can't refuse me a room on the grounds of nationality. Under English law... Aye, it's aye, it's English law. Uh, English, uh, English uh, law. Yeah, 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 well, true. rule on devolution, yeah. that's all I can say. Uh -huh. Do you know what I would do if I was the president of a free Scotland? No. I would rebuild Hadrian's Wall. And I would electrify it. <laughs> you know what I would do if I was the president of Scotland? I'd rebuild Hadrian's Wall. And I'd electrify it. <laughs> Quality. <laughs> you know the next one's wall. I would do if I was the president of a free Scotland. No. I would rebuild Hadrian's Wall, and I would electrify it. <laughs> I you love know it. the next thing I would do? No. I would bring back hanging. Ah, for murderers. For Englishmen. Oh, no, really? No. You've taken that too far. That's too far. I bring back hanging for murderers. No, for Englishmen. How dare you? Oh, the J word is on the tip of my tongue, but I won't say it because I love you guys. You built my channel, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Suddenly my English nationalist pride is being tested. <laughs> uh... Oh, really? Oh, would you listen to you, you punchified Jesse? You... <laughs> You laddie da, stiff up a lip twitty. You're no getting in the room here. Get the hell out of my hotel. Go on, away you go, ya, ya. Anglo wog. Get the room here. Get the hell out of my hotel. Go on, away you go, ya, ya. Anglo wog. <laughs> Anglo wog. Anglo w o g. Is that what you just said? That doesn't make sense though. Because that word's reserved for you know. What? If you're going to be racist to English people, at least get it right. We're white. <laughs> I don't get that. But wow, he's he went in. He went in. He hates us. Go on, away you go, ya, ya. Anglo woggy. I am not a wog. Listen, laddie, as far as I'm concerned, wogs begin at Berwick. <laughs> Don't you raise your voice to me, my man. Have you no thought for your guests? Yes. Oh, don't, don't be stupid guests. We haven't got guests here yet, big toady. No guests. No guests, no. And if things don't pick up soon, I'll maybe have to move back up to Scotland. I was trying to put the woe is me innocent Englishman act on, but I can't help but laugh. <laughs> Ricky Fulton, did he, does he actually feel like that? Or did he? Back then, is that, you know? Does he, is he a proper Scottish nationalist? Okay, this is a raid. Hands on the table where I can see them. Nobody move. Colin, watch the back door. Okay, miss. Can I vape? Thank you, Sergeant. <laughs> Next.
remember doing that as a kid. <laughs> you uh, uh, must be Mr. Hodgkinson. Uh, Mr. Appleby? Big Chief Swift half? That's me, Jimmy. Well, I'll just uh, have a seat, Chief. Have a seat, Chief. <laughs> It's funny, but I don't get like. I feel like the audience knows something I don't. <laughs> Who? Help me. <laughs> How? <laughs> like Delboy. How? <laughs> when Rodney's face is red. But fill me in, guys. Come on, you, you're great at this. Help me out with this one, too. <laughs> so, how are you? you never seen a real live Indian. Also, I need to say it. I need to make it clear. You know when I'm asking you guys to, like, help me out with things that I don't get? Don't put it in the live chat of the premiere. Comment it on the actual video. Because not only um, does it, like, help the video. You know, the more comments on a video, the better it'll do. That's just a given. But also, in case it's, you know, something that I'm going to need to remember in a future episode or a future video... I can just go straight back to the comment section and find it. Whereas with live chats, you can't really do that. You can't just go back and find the live chat. You've got to... It's a piss take. So comment the things that I ask you guys to help me with, please. Okay? Thank you. Appreciate it. Medicine man of what? Never in Hope Street, no. <laughs> which, uh, which tribe do you actually represent? Oh, I'm the chief of... Semolina tribe. <laughs> Semolina uh, tribe. You mean Seminole? No, Semolina. We're all Semolina. We're all desert people. <laughs> I, hate, I feel lost. Now it's just a wee spot of local Indian Mexican uh, humour there. You know, I feel lost. How, uh, how long have you been out of work exactly, Chief? Oh, since many moons shine on prairie, cast long shadow down deep canyon where many fish swim in rippling water. Have? Uh, About two years. <laughs> well, if you're nothing for me, I'll be on my way. Uh, just hold on a wee minute, Chief. Hold on. Just have a seat. Huh? I'll tell you when to go. What, is it going to take long? I mean, I've uh, I've left my horse broken wind on a double brown line. <laughs> you mean a double yellow line? No, he's not called broken wind for that. <laughs> hey, I want two years, eh? All right, two years, and I'll tell you something that is it, it's excoriating my dignity. Not only that, it's stigmatising my whole psyche, and, and, and talk with that, I'm bloody fed up with it. <laughs> I want a job. Uh, don't worry, we've got I you a job. I demand the right to work. We've got you a job, sir. I, you've what? I got you a job. They're looking for a bouncer at the Blue Parrot nightclub. A bouncer? A bouncer in the nightclub? Aye. I can't do that. I know. Indians don't fight after that. <laughs> I'm telling you the truth, Chief. Wow. I don't think you're a real Indian at all. What do you mean? Real well, white man speak with forked tongue, Jimmy. <laughs> white man like, speak with forked tongue? I was born with that headdress. Yeah. What did your mother think about that? Oh, she was tickled to death. <laughs> you bad boy. That is a good want a job. job. At all, do I do want a job. I do so want a job. I've been in every hospital in Glasgow. But is it my fault they don't want a consultant medicine man? <laughs> Come on, is there nothing else you can turn oh, your hand to? I can to? do a lot of things. I can do a lot of things. Well, what else can you do? Well, I'm very good at hunting bears. <laughs> hunting bears? bears in I Scotland? Bears. That's the bears in Glasgow. God, you haven't been doing shirtless in this <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Chief, but if you don't take this job, I'm going to have to stop your door. Well, I'm not taking the job, so you can do what you like. <laughs> A pound a week. I'm no interested. All oh, your meals are thrown in free of charge. I'm no taking that job and that's final. You get to escort the stripper back to the dressing room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love this. This sh oh, it's fantastic. This show, I love it. Oh my god, I can't believe I've never heard of it. 
in like make it you know put it in like um perspective for me where does this show rank in scottish comedy history or like entertainment history put it in a like an english perspective for me so you know compare it to i don't know what i'd say is the best well no no obviously the best english sketch show is the two ronnies isn't it and then probably maybe little britain for the modern era so where does it rank in that kind of area I can't think of any other sketch shows, actually. That's the, those are the only two I can think of. Can you call Mr. Bean a sketch show? You can't. No, it's a situational comedy, isn't it? It's not sketch. But I can't think of any other. Come fly with me. Uh, so where does where would you put it in those ranks? And put other ones, normal comedy, like, you know, Faulty Towers, Porridge, Blackadder, I suppose. And, you know, ones that I haven't seen. Uh... Last of the summer wine, ones like that. How big was this? Is it more loved than Still Game? And and you know, let me know, please. I don't know where I'd put it. And I've lost sound. Oh, wonder if I may. Excuse me. Hmm? Wonder if I might have a word with you. I've got a wee uh, sort of problem here, and perhaps you could advise me. You see, well, I mean, I'm a millionaire. You understand? Well, no, a self-made millionaire, but a millionaire nonetheless. And I've got a, a lovely big mansion just outside of Edinburgh. There, I've got four Rolls Royces, a string of Arabian thoroughbreds, a beautiful yacht moored in the Mediterranean, and a private jet at my beck and call. And yet, you know, in spite of okay. all that. I just don't seem to be acceptable in society. Now, could you tell me what's wrong in some way? Oh, well, I think... Oh, excuse me for a minute, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Did he just blow his nose on him? <laughs> Dicky Dandruff. Is this the guy that was, like, making a really weird meal? With... Oh, this was funny last time. <laughs> Disgusting, but funny. How's yeah, it is. And welcome once again to Dirty Dicks Motorways Car. Dirty Dicks. I'm another guy that how to cook up the uh, the muck, the me, the mess, the, the the meals that we serve it to our clientele. Get the bike. Now uh, this week I'm going to first show you how to prepare one of my unique homemade pies, or as they are known on the M1, the foot and mouth special. <laughs> now the first requirement tonight is a baking bowl. Here we have a baking bowl, and that's the sheep's head, which I will tell you about later. <laughs> yes. It looks like a woman we I used to go with. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, into this bowl, I have placed a uh, kind of half pound of flour, a couple of water, and uh, well, a big dot of butter. And after that, of course, you have to... Oh, by the way, just I might just uh, diverge for a monument. I've had a couple of cheeky letters about me no washing my hands before I've handled edible foodstuffs. <laughs> so, well, fair's fair. I mean, a bit of hygiene never hurt anybody, you know what I mean? So I'll just no, like to tell you, before I come on the air tonight, I gave the offending appendages a good scrub with soap and water. And I washed my hands as well. <laughs> 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 Now, in here, as I say, we've got this mixture that we've got to sort of <laughs> give it a good here, as I say, we've got this mixture that we've got to sort of <laughs> give it a good need because it, it needs it needs a good need. You know? It needs a good need. It needed a good. <laughs> and, ah! You know, I hope no coming on for a call. <laughs> anyway, why are you going to any a kind of consistency to? Tim out onto the the the, the, the thing so that you can roll it into a, a, a pastry. Fortunately, my uh, assistant chef, Clarty Claude, has made up some pastry for me. Would you see this thing, uh, pastry, Clarty, please? <laughs> oh, monkey! Right into the sink there. Look at that. Now, oh, my animal. Bring that out. Hey, Clark, how many times have I told you not to put your wife in with a dog? That's ridiculous.
fantastic. <laughs> I love this. I love this. Please never let it end. It's fucking brilliant. I could ruin the Alaska. <laughs> I could ruin the Alaska. Uh, here we have this bit of piece. Just hang on a sec, will you? Oh no! Don't go! Oh, you! Oh, no. Now, we put this in the bottom of the pan. <laughs> so, and we require the filling for the pie. Uh, I need to. I don't get how there's people in the audience that can be quiet. How are they not constantly laughing? Bloody big cockroaches with <laughs> Oh, not cockroaches. <laughs> It's not be up as soon as looking at it. Look at the size of them! It's got it. Now, throughout the ages, I mean, four cars. What's it like where you live in the UK for uh, spiders? Because it's uh, invasion season, isn't it? It's about the time that they start coming in. We've got a massive one in the living room already. Um, we've got a little one up there. Hoping that it doesn't move. Um, and that's about it. Touch wood, those are the only ones that I've seen so far, but it is literally the very beginning of invasion season. <laughs> I hate spiders. We've got this sort of repellent, peppermint and uh, is it vinegar and something. Hopefully that'll keep them out of this room and others, but yeah. Have you been having them yet? And how big are they? Are you getting the big ones? Oof, I don't like this time of year. <laughs> I'm flying today, eh? <laughs> anyway, we should have something really scrumptious in here to put the pie. Oh, hey, Clarty, that is ridiculous. What <laughs> <laughs> was you? By the way, I perhaps should tell you that... <laughs> was that a dog or a cat? Well, that's next door. <laughs> ah! It's next door! Oh, well then. Uh, here we have the very best kind of scrumptious pie filling. <laughs> Is this kitchen in a Chinese takeaway? <laughs> Get away, you dirty pig. Go on, you. Listen, if you don't... Oh, my God, he's got a fucking cauldron now. <laughs> yeah, we might as well use it. <laughs> no. Uh... <laughs> no. Well, it's protein, you know what I mean? <laughs> no, uh... All right, calm down, Bear Grylls. This is the best kind of pie filling, cos, uh, this is the kind of leftovers that all Jesse the Cleaner has picked up in our travels. Oh, hey, Clarty, you've been making your rock buns a bit too hard, have you know this? <laughs> hey, we'll soon. Ah, <laughs> uh, James, I don't know what you're chattering about. There's nothing left for you to hear. I don't anyway, know what you're that, chattering that about. That might come in handy later on. No. Now, we take the pie filling and we put it into the... Dear God, help. Yeah. And we put it into the pie there, and we scribble it about there, and uh, we put the sheep's head right on the top. <laughs> now, we want to marinate this in a little white wine, and this seems to be quite good stuff. <laughs> ah, it's no bad, that. Ah, it's no bad, that. <laughs> That's about the right amount. A mouthful and a half. <laughs> Imagine Gordon Ramsay when he's putting his wine in. <laughs> That's about the right amount. A mouthful and a fucking half. Because <laughs> he, he's got to swear. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. <laughs> this is one of the best sketches ever. Yeah, we cover this whole thing with another dodge of pastry. This is where maybe the teeth will come in handy. Crimpy. <laughs> Just to make it nice and neat. <laughs> and you put this in the oven for ending up to two hours or until such times as it blows up. <laughs> of course, like any other good chef, I already have one. Shut your face, you. Shut your face, I already you. have one cooking and I'll go and get that now from the oven. And uh, we can. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Delicious delicacy. Delicacy. Which is guaranteed to put hairs on your chest <laughs> and make you run faster than the bionic woman. <laughs> well, that's all for uh, this week, trainers. I do hope you'll look in again next week when I'll be baking the humble Scotch salmon and turning it into an Italian treat.
which they call salmonella. <laughs> I don't understand. Why was there no applause for the end of that sketch, but there was for the others? That. For me, that was probably the best one in the episode so far, apart from the police one. That was fantastic. Wow. Fuck. What a character. I love it. Brilliant. I've said it before and I'll say it again. This show is genius. Wow. Father. Yes, my child. Brilliant. Father, my dogs just died and I was wondering if you would carry out the burial service. Bury a dog? Me? Oh, certainly not, no. Now, you'd be better to try the, uh, the Reverend McLeod of the Church of Scotland. They do a nice wee service. Do you think it would cost much? No, I shouldn't think so. Do you think a thousand pounds would cover it? <laughs> interested now. Dear child, you didn't tell me the dog was a Catholic. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I mean by how good this show is. That's a, a real showcase of how genius this is. We've just had a sketch with the uh, Dicky Dandruff and it was a good, you know, three, four minutes. I mean, I didn't count it, but it was a good three, four minute sketch. Absolutely hilarious. But then you've got this sketch here, about 20 seconds, and it's just as funny. You know, it's just a woman at a party and a, a reverend and she's like, oh, this dog's died. Would you mind doing the funeral? He's like, oh, no, no, I couldn't bury a dog. No, 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 I'm sorry. And she says, oh, well, do you know anybody else? You know, will will a thousand pounds be enough? And then he's like, you know, nearly chokes on his drink. Good God, you didn't tell me the dog was a Catholic. <laughs> and then, you know, ah, oh, that is such a showcase of how good it is. When you've got a sketch that's so much shorter, it just, it's, as, it's just as funny, if not funnier. Oh, this is brilliant. I love this. I love it. Oh, wow. Scotch and rye? Ho, 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 ho. Up here. Right up here. I mean, the dog was a cat. Good cover it. <laughs> and the fucking medals, this is. I'm telling you. Don't argue with me. English people. And that's another thing. I think about all the English people that won't even know these shows exist. They don't know what they're fucking missing. Smashery, see you again. So, it's oh, awfully nice of you to invite us, Peter. Eh, uh, Pedro. <laughs> Pedro? I'd rather you call me Pedro if you don't mind. Oh. <laughs> Why does he look familiar? Is he? Well, oh, anything you see yourself, you know. <laughs> Pedro. <laughs> well, uh, sit in. Oh. Sit in. Oh, thanks, Pedro. Oh, Give it a minute. <laughs> Oh, hey, you're looking good, you're looking Oh, thank. Oh, where's Rose? Oh, she's in the kitchen preparing La Cena. Uh, what? La Cena. Spanish for stovies and chips. <laughs> Is he, um... Vince Gallagher. The poisoner of Clydeside. That bastard. Is that him? Is that him? That's who I recognise him as. I'll get a shirt. Hey, 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 Rosita, Rosita. I know what to bring her. Never feels this. You ready? Oh, God. Molly! Buenas noches. Buenas noches. <laughs> Have they seen you since the holidays, have you? No, no. no. We're talking of holidays. Okay, guess no. where we spent well holidays this year. <laughs> um Budapest. <laughs> uh, Scarborough. <laughs> Spain. Scarborough, you wallet. That's why I said. 
buenas noches. Oh, what? That's really? <laughs> no? We've been talking Spanish quite a lot since we get back, haven't we, dear? Have you? Eh, Dondi. Where? Oh. El Toro. The Bull. Oh. <laughs> eh, Urinarios. The Lave. The Lave Urinarios. That's very good. Let's we'll remember that the next time our bull gets taken short. <laughs> Uh, Rose and me have gone a wee bit too far. What did you not judge? Oh, no, no, live and let live, I always do. <laughs> we know exactly how you feel, Pedro. Don't we, Bert? Oh, don't we, huh? No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no point in asking when you went for your holiday, was it? Eh, did you enjoy yourself? Eh, did I enjoy what? Spain. Spain? Well, why did they go to Spain? No, no, we had... Uh, we had separate holidays this year. As a matter of fact, uh, I went a great place. So I had a smashing time. I really had. Well, uh, where did you go then, Bert? I went to the Sunny View Nudist Club! <laughs> well? Thank you very much, Senor Signore. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Did you say Nudiscum? Or something? <coughs> uh, two soups. Sorry, it's not my table. <coughs> two soups, please. Sorry, not my table. Two soups! Sorry, it's not my table, huh? Two you soups! You want the chicken? Will it bring me two bloody soups? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the chicken? Will he bring me two bloody soups? Shank, if you like draft with the capacity, I nearly blew the bunny off me. Have you not caught the waiter yet? I'll need to dig a hole and cover it with branches. <laughs> uh, two, two soups, uh, one soup. One soup? One soup with two straws. Two soup? <laughs> Out. It's a waiter I want, no a bus. <laughs> oh, you big <laughs> uh, It's no his table. It's not my table, eh? You see? It's not that my table, eh? Oh, oh, here, here. Where are you going with my table? So you're the one. <laughs> Two soups. Uh, soups half. <laughs> oh, no. I'm from the south side of Piscopalian. <laughs> <laughs> Ping Pong and Scrabble Association. <laughs> I was uh, I was wondering if you would care to uh, contribute a little something. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I was really thinking of more of something like 50p. <laughs> no, no, I'm afraid what she's got in mind isn't 50p, more like thrupney bit. My husband's Time away on to. business. I'm all alone in this great big house. Well, uh, 40p would do. <laughs> it gets so terribly lonely. 20? <laughs> With no one to look after me. I take American Express. <laughs> and nothing to keep me warm in bed. Oh. Well, I, uh, I, I generally use a, a Snoopy hot water bottle. <laughs> and, and, And woolly socks. <laughs> woolly socks. <laughs> Would you like a drink? I've got Dom Perignon in the bedroom. <laughs> Maybe he would have fifty. <laughs> oh, don't play games with me. Huh? How can you be so cruel? All right, I'll say it, I'll admit it. <laughs> I'm a nymphomaniac. Oh, really? I'm Sagittarius. <laughs> Oh, 
found me attractive. Uh, I, do, I don't know. Why not? You've steamed up my glasses. <laughs> you don't need them. What? And you don't need the. Oh, I, I do, I do. I've got the whole of the other side of the road to knock up. Walk up. <laughs> no, go. Take me. Oh, <laughs> oh, we, we, we couldn't go out carol singing like this. <laughs> Take me now. What? Take me here. Oh. Carry me away. Oh, well, my, my doctor says I'm not to lift anything heavy. <laughs> oh, 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 Mrs. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh, Mrs. What is it? Oh, I'm on my can. Ah, I'm on my can. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got to pause. My chest is hurting. Ah. <laughs> oh, let me get, oh, oh, let me get myself together. Oh, Jesus, my chest. Oh, my God. This is the best one. This is the best one so far. <laughs> this is fucking smashing. Ah! Wait! Oh, oh, Mrs. What is it? Oh, I'm on my can. Transport me! Yeah, well, I would like. I don't think we could get there and back before, before, before. <laughs> What's that for? My husband would be home for weeks. I, I know, but the carol singers have only got half a chorus to go, and then it'll be wondering, <laughs> wondering where I am, you see. Forget them. What? Forget everything. What? Come with me huh? to the bedroom. Uh, uh, I'll uh, transport uh, you. Uh, I'll show you delights you'd never uh, imagine. Uh, to the bedroom. Uh, uh, to the bedroom. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> now what? Well, I'll, uh, I better be, be toddling along now. <laughs> uh, I've got a lot more 50, 50 pences to, to collect. And, uh, and of course, I always like, I always like to get home uh, before the Beech Grove Garden, you see. <laughs> and and I'll, maybe, I'll, maybe come, I'll maybe come back later when you've got some change and, and had an ascot powder. <laughs> Gonna do? Is he gonna leave? <laughs> Where's his, hold on, his glasses. Right, lads, from the top, one more time. <laughs> God, because oh, I'm never happy that an episode's ended, but I don't think I could have got carried on with that. Oh my fucking chest! I feel like someone sat on me. <laughs> Without a doubt, that was the best one ever. Best episode of this ever. I've never known anything like that. That was just every sketch was. Literally, like, wow. How the fuck did they do that? How did they make that episode so good? Every episode's been good, but... Like, th th there's always one or two sketches where it's funny, but not like that. But in this one, it was. Every single episode, uh, sketch, it was just... I was nearly on the floor every time and because it was just that constantly I could just feel like the pain in my chest getting bigger and bigger <laughs> wow that is the the only kind of pain that I'm I'm happy to get because that means that you've enjoyed yourself wow that was a fantastic episode what an example of 
a showcase of the people writing this. Who did write this? Because, you know, I'm not sure. There's no directed by, starring, composer, origin, language, producer. Writer? <laughs> no, writer. Phil Differ. Really? That's who wrote it? Phil Differ. Never heard of him. And why is its IMD, IMDB page so terrible? Like, literally, there's nothing. Look at it. Terrible. Anyway. Oh, wait. Producer Philip Differ and Tony Roper. But he's not writing these yet, is he? We're still at the like the early stage. Also, I'm confused about the chronology of this show because the first episode was like 1979, but then there's in the last one that we did, I'm pretty sure that they mentioned that the year was like 1984 or 1985 or something. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm going on. Um, yeah, wow. That was brilliant. Oh, I'm so glad that I chose to do this. What a show. Ricky Fulton is a master. He just got that kind of face as well. You know, he, he looks like as soon as he starts doing his thing on the telly, on the screen. It looks like it's going to be funny. Like, you know when you see Jim Carrey? Jim Carrey, and you, you just know. Whatever he's about to do, I'm, it's going to make me laugh. And I'd say the same about Ricky. He's got one of them faces. He just looks like he's going to make you, make you laugh, make you smile. It's so good, this. Wow, I just can't wait to do the next episodes. It's brilliant. So, um, yeah... Fantastic, 10 out of 10, best episode of the series so far, without a doubt. Nothing comes close to this. In fact, I'd say over the last week, out of all the content that we've done, so An Idiot Abroad, The Last Limmy Show, uh, The Last Rap Scene Nesbit. In fact, The Last Rap Scene Nesbit wasn't that great. I don't know if I, I... I think I kind of played it off in the actual reaction itself and said... It wasn't bad, it wasn't the best, but, it, but thinking about it after I've had a bit of time, it wasn't that great. It was a bit tame compared to what we've had in this series and series three. It was a bit, you know, it, it wasn't It wasn't good, it wasn't a good episode. By Rab Cena's bit standards, it was terrible. From that, I mean, like the standards that I've become accustomed to up to now. But yeah, this best episode of anything that I've seen in the last week at least fantastic wow I'm, I think I would say it was better than the Hogmanay special last night as well but I'll, I'll, I'll have a think about that I'll watch that actual episode of my reaction again see how much I laughed and then watch this one and then I'll get back to you on that one if I remember so before we go yeah Make sure you like this, subscribe, and don't forget the prize draw on the Patreon is now officially underway. We've started, so it's time for you to pick your numbers. And as I showed you, these are the numbers that uh, are still available. Yeah. So, 
everyone on Patreon, these are the numbers that are still that you can still pick. And remember if you join the Patreon between now and when we do the prize draw, you get to pick two numbers as well as like the people in the highest tiers do. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this. Um I hope you've had a good start to the week and I hope it's going to be a great week for you all. And good luck to everybody entering in the prize draw. I hope... I hope you win. Okay? <laughs> Thanks, guys. Much love to all of you. You're fantastic. Good night.